Radhe Radhe. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the anti palindrome queries problem, which often today's course shift challenge. So if you have any doubt regarding this, you can ping me up on Instagram. Even you can join my Discord server. I will put both the links in the comment section. I'll pin them. The problem statement is very simple. You are given uh, the length of the array and the queries. Okay. So basically, I forgot to say something that uh, it will be better if you like like this video and subscribe my channel. Okay. So let's get back to the problem. So this is the queries. So queries are like basically it is in the form of sub arrays. So you have to find out in that sub array whether that sub array can be rearranged in such a way so that it can form a beautiful anti palindromic query. Uh, uh, anti palindromic uh, array. Okay. So what is an anti palindromic array? So basically an anti palindromic array is a uh, array for which like for all the elements like all the elements are not palindromic. Like let's say if we mirror it so none of the elements are mirrored okay which basically means that error of i is not equal to error of m minus 1 minus i okay so that is uh, what anti palindromic means so, uh, an example of anti palindromic will be like if all the elements are different okay now if we draw a thing so this is not anti palindromic but a thing that is not anti palindromic will be like this okay because if you draw a line over here so these two elements are palindromic these may not be and another example may be this okay over here if you like make the palindrome so basically these two elements are same so if any one of the element is same it, we can say that it, it is not anti palindromic okay now for every query so let's say for 2 comma 5 so if we are taking 2 comma 5 that means like let me focus it that means this array now this array itself is an anti palindromic so it can be proven you can check and what we have to do is we have to find that for all the cyclic possibilities it should be anti palindromic okay so 2 3 1 3 is anti palindromic and then if we go for some cyclic prop like cyclic thing that is 3 1 3 2 it is also anti palindromic then 1 3 2 3 is also anti palindromic then 3 2 1 3 is also anti palindromic and sorry uh, it's not 3 2 1 3 it's going to be 3 2 3 1 and again it becomes 2 3 1 3 okay so for all the possible things you can see that say that it is anti palindromic so that's a yes okay but for 2 comma 4 so that is uh, 2 3 1 so no matter what it is it can be proven that it will be always a no okay and for 1 comma 2 also it will be uh, uh, this 2 comma 2 so no matter what however you rearrange it 2 comma 2 it will be 2 comma 2 only so basically that means it is always palindromic okay so that is also a no and for 1 comma 4 you can see that uh, 2 2 3 1 okay so basically that's that's how this thing works okay i'm not sure actually i think the last one it will be no anyways i don't remember okay so you can check it check the question only okay so if if it is 1 comma 4 then it will be no okay because that means i have made a mistake only so basically that's it or maybe i think it it was not one comma four okay so mm, that's it so if you have any doubt like if you want the whole video solution for the problem okay so if you want the whole video solution for the problem you can check out the link that i've given in the description the code will also be there okay so just go go to that video and you will get that that's it from my side thank you